action. Hi, I'm Justin Wagner, I'm one of the current R3 residents at the University of Minnesota. I'm Kevin Klee, I'm also one of the third years. I'm Debbie Schnoy, I'm also one of the R3. So we just wanted to welcome you to our program and we'll just tell you just a general overview about a, just the usual day in the, in the program. So we go to three different rotation sites, including the University of Minnesota, Hennepin County Medical Center, and Minneapolis VA Medical Center. Generally, you start at 7.30 in the morning. So for me, I usually make sure I give myself plenty of time, especially when I'm at the, the university. We do get on-site parking. The parking ramp is relatively close to the hospital. I'd say it takes me about five to ten minutes to walk from the parking ramp to, to the hospital. I usually get to my workstation about maybe 10-15 minutes early. Generally what I do is if there's any cases that I was unsure of from the day before I'll look those up you know just see if there's any other learning points for those more difficult cases that I had during the day. And then when 7 30 starts depending on the rotation you're at you just start reading off your designated list. You're reading basically from 7 30 until noon and you'll as a, especially early on in your training, you know, you'll probably read for an hour or two and then staff will come by and do some view box teaching with you and go over the cases that you had read up to that point. Also, as a R1 resident, there are opportunities to get involved in some procedures, especially oral exams. So in the mornings, you'll be doing those as well. Once it gets to be at noon, you have about 15 minutes to get, you know, wrap up, wrap things up, then head towards the, the noon lecture hall, which is uh, every day is different, just the various subspecialty of radiology and that conference is generally given by co-residents and alternatively some faculty will intermittently give new conferences. So that goes from about 12.15 to 1 o'clock and then after 1 o'clock you go back to your reading room and you continue to read off your designated list and participate in procedures and floral exams until about 4.30 and then once a staff takes a look at your exams and signs them off then you're you're all set for the day and you're able to leave. And so that's just kind of the, the general overview of all three sites are, are very similar set up. So. Often after around 5 or 5.30, there are some lighting opportunities that several residents are a part of. We light at the University of Minnesota at the PSC and then at a couple of private groups in town. So our duties are basically contrast coverage. So you're there should there be a contrast reaction. It's a good way to make a little bit of extra money. And typically the shifts go from like 5 or 5.30 to about 7 or so. I use that time typically to study, go over anything that I wasn't sure of during the day or read for my rotation. Then if you're not on one of the day rotations, you'll be on a call block. So any of our daily rotations that we rotate through, you'd be doing what Jesse explained. Um, but then we take call at the University of Minnesota and then also at our county hospital, Hennepin County. I'm going to talk briefly about call at the university. So that'll be a three-week rotation that's split up into a week of overnights where you work from 11 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., the week of our evening shift, which is 4.30 p.m. to 11 p.m., and then the week of our swing shift, which is 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Usually the swing shift, you get off a little bit earlier because you and the evening person are reading together, kind of helping take care of the list, and then once you're all caught up and it's a little closer towards the end of the night, the swing person can usually take off. And so when you're at call at the, at the university, you're, you know, our patient population there is more complex cancer and transplant type patients. There's usually a mix of those types of cross-sectional studies, as well as any x-rays or ultrasounds that come through. Occasionally you might have to perform some fluoroscopy exams while you're on call, but for the most part, you're just reading those different types of studies from the list. The other site that we take call for is Hennepin County Medical Center. Um, you start call your R2 year. It's a three week block. One of the weeks is going to be your overnight week. That provides you invaluable experience because you're independent. The staff are sleeping and always available should you have a question, but you're the one making the decisions. It's a trauma center, so you see a lot of trauma, a lot of car accidents and injuries and so on and so forth. So it's very cross-sectional based. In addition, you typically read plain films and a handful of ultrasounds during your overnight shift. And then something that's unique to have been is that you read out the trauma scans at the CT scanner and you make um, kind of quicker, more real-time assessments 
And so that's a really good experience for us to gain confidence and gain skills. We also have an evening week, which is 4.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. That's also similar to the overnights with the exception that you don't read any x-rays during that shift. So you're just reading cross-sectional imaging. And then the third week of your call block is at the CSC, where you're reading outpatient imaging. So it's a good mix those three weeks. You get a ton of learning. I feel like I'm a better radiologist for the Hennepin County the last thing in addition to our call blocks is so those usually run Sunday through Friday. So the Saturdays between the university and Hennepin are split up between all the rest of the residents that aren't on a call block currently. They'll be everyone that's just rotating through their normal daily schedule. They'll occasionally have a Saturday that they are on call during the day, either at Hennepin or at the university. And they'll usually be at the university, like a day shift and an evening shift, and then at Hennepin, a day shift. So throughout the year, depending if you're a second year, third year, fourth year, you'll have a handful of those Saturday shifts as well that contribute to your call. I think that's all of the information that we want to give you guys. Um, we hope that you'll consider our program. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'm done. I'm done.